How's it going people? My name is Richard Mercado, aka known as Lizard. I own Lizard Motorsports here in Downey. I've been in business for 10 years now. I've been in Downey all my life. I'm not trying to move from here. I love love my, my spot, I love my shop. And I'm gonna be here until I can't work anymore. What we do here at Lizard Motorsports is motors, transmissions, electrical, lowering jobs, you know, rebuilt whatever you want. If you want rust repair work, I do rust repair work too. Um, I assemble cars. I, I built you the car from ground up, you know. Damn, boss. That's a long one. I'll be here forever, but um, I don't know, man. I don't look like no damn lizard, but <laughs> but I do like, I do like it. Uh, you know, all my friends have a, a nickname, and my nickname is Lizard. <laughs> I've been into Volkswagens ever since I was 16 years old. My first Volkswagen was a 57 Oval Window. My mom bought me, and I still have that car. <laughs> I got started kicking it with two of my older friends, which was Sam and Caesar. You know, they used to. They used to always let me do everything. Lizard, take that off. Lizard, put that on. And I was like, learning, you know what I mean? I was a young, I was the young one, and, and I, I had the energy, you know? So I always loved them. I always liked to work on them. I used to be a truck driver back in the days. I still have my class A driver's license. And um, you know, it got slow over there, and my best friend pushed me to do this. He did tell me, you're gonna hate me. But you're gonna love me in the long run. Just make sure you buy something with no major rust. Because if it's rusty, then it's gonna bite you in your ass in the long run, you know. Uh, just invest on something that's rust free and you know, solid. It doesn't matter if it's nice painted, but just a solid like this 67 right here. It's a nice body, it's a nice solid car. I don't think. I gotten stuck on anything on the Volkswagen. I could do everything and everything to these Volkswagens from A to Z, and and I love every piece of these Volkswagens. My friend Sam and Caesar, they used to take me back in the days to the street races, and I used to be the tree for my friend. He always promised me to pick me back up, and he would never do it. <laughs> back to my friend's car that he won Mustangs, Camaros, and a Volkswagen. I was like, man, I want to be like that, you know what I mean? And, and when my mom bought me my first bug, out had a 1500 and I thought it was big. You know, I was trying to race everybody, it was funny, but <laughs> they told me, you're, you're, you know, you're oh, stupid. Yeah. You gotta build a big motor if you wanna go fast. Oh, That's yeah. how cut it, you know? So I was like, oh my God. Started scratching my head, I started asking questions, and you know, I started doing it myself. Because I didn't like payments, you know that? <laughs> I didn't like payments, so I wanted to buy it and that'd be my car. You know, I finally bought myself a new car. It's a Ford F 250 truck, and I bought it for, for one reason it was my daughters to keep them warm. They were suffering in my little V-Dubs because I didn't have a heater or, or, or an AC. But you know what? They, they love my V-Dubs too. I, I love that about them. I run with Volkstock Car Club. I've been with them since 1997. I'm gonna die with them. And you know, they're a bitchin' ass club. I cannot say nothing bad about them. They're here for me, I'm here for them. Just like I'm here for any of you out there, even if you're not from Volkstock. I'm here to help you guys. You guys, you know, have a money situation. You guys come and talk to me. I'll make it happen, my friends. That's one thing about, about me. I work with my customers. You know, it's all about customer satisfaction here at Lizard Motorsports. And your smile makes my smile. You know what I mean? So, you know, don't be afraid to come here, my people, you know? I think my favorite thing about Lizard is the moment you come through that door, there's always that smile and they greet you and you know, like, hey, how's it doing? How are the girls, you know? Every time there was a problem, he would call me and tell me, hey, you know, 
you know, this is happening, what do you want to do? I brought my car to him knowing that it was going to be done right and uh, that when I was going to drive off with it, it was going to be good. And everybody knows Lizard and everybody's got nothing but good things to say, you know, and if, you know, I know guys that have had to work with him and taken their cars to him and it's always been really good. Um, so if you see this Lizard, thank you from El Huero, I appreciate it. Always taking good care of me and uh, that's all. I don't know if I can name them all, but I do have a lot of them. I have uh, 221 windows, once a regular walkthrough, once a right hand drive. So what we got here is a 1955 American Spec Oval. It's a, it's a rare oval, it's only three months of production. You know, it does have money combs, but it's a three-fold with all the early options. I bought this in Downey off of an original lady, original 72,000 miles, and once again, it was a deal, that's why I bought it, you know what I mean? Um, on this side, I got my race car. This is going to be my Pro Turbo car next year. You know, right now it just has a little car rated motor that one of my girls was driving. And, um, but I'm going to take that off and I'll put my turbo motor on this, you know? Um, you guys follow me over here, we've got my 1951 split window, it's an, it's an 11C, it's a crotch cooler, I just bought this this year, um, this is my second split, I do have a 50 but it needed too much work so I decided to buy myself another one, um, this is a customer's car, this is not mine, but uh, I don't know what happened to him, he hasn't been back so eventually it's going to be mine if he doesn't come for it, huh? Now, remember I told you guys I still have my first bug that my mom bought me back in 1996? Well, there she is. She's still in one, one in great shape. I mean, I just gotta put a motor on it. I haven't, haven't, man, I have so many cars I haven't been able to get this one out, but eventually I'm gonna get it out. You know, um, this is my, my naturally aspirated race car. And, you know, it runs 11s and a quarter mile. I'm trying to take it into the 10s this year, so um, hopefully everything goes good with the new combo that we put together, huh? What we got over there is my 65 right-hand drive, 21 window. I bought that in East LA. I, that was another score I got, you know. I've been having it for five years now, and I'm scared to drive it because I don't want to be offered something that I cannot say no to, and I don't that's one of the vehicles I want to keep, you know what I mean? This is my little 66 Gia. I bought it from a customer. I built it for a customer and he just decided he didn't want it anymore. So I bought it off of him. I bought it because it has a lot of good stuff in it. Motor, tranny, suspension. I mean, the only thing it needs is, is a paint job. But, you know, eventually I guess I'll get to that too, you know? Um, this is my 1950 split with a bug. Yes, it's a... Uh, it's very, but um, I'm gathering pieces for it. Uh, I got a lot of stuff for it. I did buy it with a lot of stuff, but I just want the, the original fenders. You know, um, what else do I'm, am I looking for? Uh, I do have the hood, but other than that, I mean, I've just been piecing it little by little. Um, I have more cars at home, guys. This is just a little bit of what I have. You know, um, I have 65 square back. Like I said, I have two double cabs, a 59 and a 60. I have my 67 Riviera Camper. I have um, um, I have a Manx buggy too with a turbo Subaru motor. Uh, man, I just my 55 bus, you know, my 221s, the right-hand drive and the regular walkthrough one, a 57 panel, a 67 sliding door panel. Um, Man, I wish we had time to show you all of them, you know, it's just, it's a long list, guys. I don't want to keep you guys, you know, for a long time, but, you know, this is a little bit of my, what I have, guys. Hope you guys like it. I live by these, you know, I love them with all my heart. I will never hesitate to buy one. I will hesitate to buy a Chevy, though, or, or another new car. Uh, my newest project is the 55 right here, and um, I am liking it. I don't know why, but I dig it a lot, you know, for the year it is and the body it is. Man, it's beautiful. I love it, you know. 
I'm gonna be rolling with the vicious wagons, you know, the Dove Blue Mafia crew. <laughs> when we go to Busted by the Bridge and all that, you know, so, um, I don't favorite any Volkswagen, I love them all. Huh? All of them. I can't. That's why I own what I own, because they were always a deal. Ah, uh, just like this 55, I bought it for $80,000. You know, look at it, that thing ain't worth dollars worth more than $80,000, you know what I mean? Um, but, I, I own what I own because it was always a deal. You know what I mean? I know how to hustle out there. You know what I mean? If I see I can make some money, I ain't gonna hesitate, I'll buy it. <laughs> Lizard Motorsports is located in Downey. My address is 12128 Woodruff Avenue. Major cross streets is Imperial and Firestone. Come check me out, my friends, so I can make you feel at home.